Hey guys, our 2017 crowdfunding campaign and the Forest Seasons album were a big success and received a lot of positive feedback. We greatly appreciate it. However, we recognize that some people needed more clarification as there were some misunderstandings leading to some accusations, rumors and false claims spread around. Well, I am here to address all that. We want to assure you that we are committed to making sure everyone has a clear understanding of what our project is all about. First, I'd like to address the question, did we crowdfund in 2017 or what was it? Although we referred to our initial pre-order for the forest package as crowdfunding, technically it wasn't crowdfunding. Traditional crowdfunding means that the fans fund an unfinished product. Our campaign was a pre-order for an already finished digital product, The Forest Package, which contained a lot of content, including the new album, The Forest Seasons. We utilized the Indiegogo platform to sell our product directly to our fans by taking pre-orders. The process was simple. You buy our product and we deliver the product for you to enjoy. And on the day of the album's release, we delivered the downloads to the pre-order customers. Our ultimate goal was to use the money earned fairly to build the Winter Sun headquarters studio for future album productions. Unfortunately, we did not meet this ultimate goal and raise enough from the campaign, so we could not accomplish it. But we did accomplish the goal partially by building a smaller, more modest Winter Sun headquarters, which I often jokingly like to refer to as a semi-studio. So we did what we could afford and invested all our funds back into music production, down to the last penny and beyond. We knew that the ultimate goal of building a big professional studio was a very ambitious goal that probably wouldn't happen with just one crowdfunding campaign. As we had mentioned during our campaign, our original plan was to conduct three separate crowdfunding campaigns, each offering a different album and digital package. However, due to a change in circumstances and the successful completion of Time 2, we have decided to abandon this plan. Instead, we will launch a digital pre-order for the Time Package via Indiegogo. Our ultimate goal is still the same, to build the bigger professional Winter Sun Headquarters studio, because that would be the most optimal and efficient situation to make music for you. Although we no longer refer to it as a crowdfunding, the concept remains the same. We sell our finished product and reinvest the raise funds into music production. And the best investment for us is the Winter Sun Headquarters studio. All right, let's review how much money we actually received, as there have been some false claims about it. The final amount we raised was 464,000 euros, which can be verified on the Indiegogo page. However, after Indiegogo's fee, we received a payment of 423,000 euros. Then, after accounting for all taxes and expenses, I was left with approximately 200,000 euros. This is the true amount we received, which is still a significant sum, and I'm grateful for it. So where did the money go? Well, as stated before, we were unable to construct the big Winter Sun headquarters studio with a budget of 200k. However, I managed to build a smaller studio, the Semi Studio, which has significantly improved the music production process. I love this new place and it has allowed me to create better quality music faster. As a result, I was also able to complete Time 2. And I'm grateful for your support throughout this journey. First, I rented a larger place so that I could create this semi-studio. After renting the place for about a year, I decided to buy it. It cost me 325,000 euros. I also invested in new music gear, a new Mac Pro and a professional vocal booth from vocalbooth.com. This way I could record vocals quickly and with high quality. So now you may wonder, wait! How could you then afford all this if you only got 200k? Well, I took out a bank loan to cover some expenses and I'm still paying it back. Additionally, I earned money from three years of touring for the Forest Seasons album, as well as smaller incomes from selling merchandise and physical CD and vinyl royalties. 
I also generated some revenue by creating YouTube videos and Patreon content. All the money raised from the crowdfunding campaign was spent on music production and even more. Any additional income from touring and other sources also went back into music production. Okay guys, this was probably the most controversial issue with the 2017 crowdfunding campaign. Over time, some individuals began to feel somewhat let down by us, since we had not constructed the big Winters on Headquarters studio and there was no big news about new album release. However, we were working hard every day. We went on tour for three years and after that, in 2020, I built a new semi-studio. I clean installed all my audio software from scratch for a fresh start and then simultaneously worked on four separate new albums. In the 2017 crowdfunding campaign, we made it clear that by participating, you are purchasing a product from us. What we do with the funds afterward is at our discretion. But after the campaign, we realized that when we told people about our intentions with the funds, this weird little gray area was born, which we did not intend. Some people felt like they had a say in how we utilized the money, while others were totally fine. Like, I bought a product from you, you do with the money what you want. In the upcoming pre-order for our new digital product, known as the Time Package, we want to emphasize that it is a finalized product. By pre-ordering and purchasing this completed product from us, you relinquish any claim over what we do with the funds after the transaction. That said, we are transparent with you, and our goal is still to build the Big Winters on Headquarters studio so that we can make music in the most optimal way. This plan has not changed, and we have been truthful about it. But this might not happen immediately. It is a big project. It all depends on how well the pre-order for the time package goes. However, all funds raised from the pre-order will be reinvested into our music production, enabling us to create higher quality music more efficiently. There you go, guys. We hope that this addresses all your concerns and clears things up. Our mission is to create high quality music for you in the most optimal way possible. Thank you everyone for supporting us throughout all these years. The pre-order for the Time Package will start on March 1st. It will include our new album, Time 2, and a lot of other content, which will be revealed on the launch day. So be ready!